Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Triple-A baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Worcester Red Sox and the Oklahoma City Dodgers. First pitch coming your way next. Okay, all set to go. Jeter downs to the plate here. And the righty deals. Foul ball there. Next one misses. Two and two. And a pitch. That one misses. And that's ball three. The wind of the pitch. Line drive. This looks like extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And it's a double to start the game. Batting second. Now batting Jaron Duran. At the belt and fires. This one popped up. And makes the grab. And there's one away. Now batting Tristan Casas. Downs over at second, one down. Next offering is in for a strike. I got to count one and two. The pitch. Lace to right center, base hit. Downs around third. He will score, and they take the lead. one nothing, And in its second with an RBI double. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Off the bat, that one registered at 105 miles per hour, man. That is smoking, and these days you hear it all the time. Swing and a ball hammered left field, and that one is out of here. A shot to left, and they add a couple more. It's 3-0. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spent on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. And now it's Hudson Potts. The pitch. Hey. Still only one out here in the inning. Well, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning, and it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost art for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. And yeah, the batter now, number 27. That one fouled off. In the dirt. In there safely. One out and a runner at second. Got him. And there's two away. Now it's Franchi Cordero. The left fielder, Franchi Cordero. Here's a 1-1. They say it went. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout, and hit the reset button. Next offering is down low. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Good job at damage control right there. Bottom of the first, digging in, Michael Bush. The Dodgers in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at-bat out of him right here. Swing and a miss, three and two now. It's amazing to look up and see 88 miles per hour on that changeup. Back in the day, that was a pretty good fastball. But with high velocities these days, 
That speed differential is right where it needs to be. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And sale deals. Stays alive. Sale ready. And that one fouled off. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Jason Martin getting ready to hit. Next offering way off the plate. And there's a ball. Sale delivers. And now it's filled up. And down on strikes he goes. And there are two outs. Two outs, base is empty. Number 93 digs in now. And now two and one. One and two now, Sale. Swing and a miss. Two and two. First two hitters get punched out on strikes. Take some notes from the dugout. When you get your chance, go up there and hit the ball hard somewhere. Chris Sale looking for that shutdown inning. Swing and a high fly ball in the air left field. That one's got a chance. And it is gone. That one barely got out of here. And they inch closer. It's 3-1. Well, you can never fault a guy for going after a hitter in a 3-2 count. He tried to challenge him, but just didn't have enough to get it by him. Really good swing and a nice home run. And here comes Jake Lamb. And one and two. The count is one and two. Sail in a one-two. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. New inning getting started. Here's the second baseman, number 51. 2-2 two -two down. Swing and a ball popped up. Grabs it barehanded, but no chance. That's an infield single. Now it's Ronaldo Hernandez. And now a full count. And down on strikes. And one away. Jeter Downs now at the plate. Doubled leading off the ball game. Then came around to score the first run of the game. And here it comes. And now two balls and a strike. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. The next offering misses. Three balls and a strike. May over to first. And he's back in easily. And the pitch. In the air right field. McKinstry brings it in. Two away. Man at first, Jaron Duran will hit next. Kicks and deals. Good eye right there. Number 51 off of first with two away. The 3-1 in for a strike, full count. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Back to work, 3-2 now. Little bouncer out in front of the plate. Fires over to first. And that is that.
bottom of the second. Now here is Drew Abins. The wind and the pitch. That misses, and it's three and two. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. And now the lefty. That one missed. Chris, with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Duran on the move to the gap. Pulls it in on the run. One down. And now, number 19. Batting seven. The left fielder. Number 19. The pitch. And it's even up. Sale with the move to first. Avens back in on a dive. The pitch. Just a slow ground ball this time. Over to first. And that's an out. So two down now, and here is Zach McKinstry. The 1-1. One, one. Runner at second, two down. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. And now two and two. Two and two. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. All set for the start of the inning. Now the third baseman, Tristan Casas. The wide to kick the pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. It feels like we might be headed towards a rain delay if the weather doesn't ease up, Chris. Yeah, the umpire and crew are going to pay attention to how the weather is impacting. He dives, but can't hang on. That's a base hit. Not in time. He's safe. Having a really nice game here. That's his second extra base hit. Pitch was in and off the plate. So hard to do anything with the pitch in that location, but somehow he got the barrel to it and hit it well. Pretty amazing. And now number 49. Fouled off. He was late. It really feels like we might be running out of time before a rain delay is called. This rain is not letting up. Yeah, and if we do get a delay, the unfortunate thing is the clock's going to start ticking on these pitchers. Oh, now this ball gets down. Here comes Casas around third. He will score, and they're up by three. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Next to hit, Hudson Potts. And now it's even up. Two balls, two strikes. Kicks and fires. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Now one away. Number 27, getting ready to hit. And a count one and two. And he deals. The other way. Base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. The bat. 
Now the left fielder, Franchi Cordero. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Next pitch is outside. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. Two on, one out. Bounced out to short. He dives, but he can't make the catch. That leaves him without a throw, and he reaches safely. Back-to-back -back base hits. You can't do much better than that on a pitch that far outside of the strike zone. Got him in a chase on the two-strike count, but he wasn't fooled. He hit that ball really well. Now at the plate, number 51. Next offering is fouled back. The one-two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. One-two now. To third. Base hit. One run in already. And they hold the runner at third. Bases remain loaded here. Still only one gone. So digging in, Ronaldo Hernandez. He's 0 for 1. On the ground to third, might be two. Lamb to second, double play. And that'll do it for the inning. Welcome back. And here's the catcher, Tony Walters. And the pitch. And a big swing and a miss. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Makes the catch. One up, one down. And here is Michael Bush. The second baseman. The pitch. There's a strike. A one-two count. All he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. That one the other way. Makes the catch for the second out. Two outs. Bases empty. Jason Martin. The next to hit. And that's the inning. Start of the fourth. Now it's the shortstop, Jeter Downs. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. Man aboard on the leadoff single. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And now, Jaron Duran swings and misses. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Tristan Casas digs in now. Tristan. In the dirt, blocked. The tag, and he's out at second. Two and one now. Good eye right there. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Three, one, and he couldn't come up with it. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. 3-2 now. Ground ball right side, and there's a hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Textbook bat control right there. Got a pitch on the outside, saw it deep into the zone, and just barreled it up, went the other way for the knock. 
And now here is Hudson Potts. Out towards left center. Touches down. That's a hit. Runner from second scores as they add on. It's 6-1. Carson Fulmer gets handed the rock out of the pen, and we'll see how he performs in this situation with his team down big. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and you need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Number 27 will hit next. 1-1 one, one now. And strike two. Not the easiest thing. When you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation. Oh, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. And welcome back. And here's the first baseman, number 93. One and two now. Sail back to one. Off the mark there. Two balls, two strikes. This is one of those times when you want to be aggressive. Go ahead and pitch to contact. Let the defense work behind you. You've got a nice, comfortable lead. Don't try to be too fine. Left-hand hitter waits. And that's ball four. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. Jake Lamb to hit. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. 1 and 2 here stays alive number 93 gets his lead at first nobody out the punch out there one away now it's the DH Drew Avins one for one with a single so far sale with the move to first and he's back in there comes a pitch oh that ball got him pretty good out there on the mound safe at first and now after the play we'll check in the lefty status on the mound now Ralph Garza and he's got a nice lead to work with One down, and here is Jacob Amaya. And the right-hander deals. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Two down. Here's the left fielder, number 19. Two outs. A couple of base runners at first and second. Bounce to third. Off balance throw in time. And that is that. Ready now for the fifth inning at the play. Franchi Cordero. Ball to strike. And that's just foul. One and two now. And the one two misses to even the count. Righty delivers. And another ball. So now three and two. Smash to the left side. That's a base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And now, number 51. And a pitch. Puts it away for the out. Man at first. Now, here is Ronaldo Hernandez. That 
one in for a strike, two and two. Righty to the plate. That one ripped. That's a base hit. The throw to third. And he's out. Now, Jeter Downs. Next pitch is outside. Hernandez off of first with two away. On the ground, right side. That's out number three. here at the ballpark. Now it's the right fielder, Zach McKinstry. And a pitch. And it is two and one. And a foul ball left side. Two two now. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. The catcher. Tony Walters up to hit. Walter. Right handed reliever. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And that one is lifted in the air. Number 49 settles underneath it, and there's two away. So up next, Michael Bush. The second baseman, Michael Bush. Next pitch misses, and that's ball three. Right side. Number 49 has a beat on it. And that's the third out. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Now the number two hitter, Jaron Duran. That one fouled off two and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one down. Here's the third baseman, Tristan Casas. Well struck left field. That one's deep. Pulls it in on the warning track. Well, off the bat, I thought for sure it had enough to get out of here, but that wind's kind of blowing in from left, and I think that's what made the difference. Gonna count one and two. I got to count one and two. And he chases that one, and the inning is over. Welcome back. Bottom of the six. Now it's going to be Jason Martin. Here's a 1-1. Ground ball to the right side. And it goes just foul. Next pitch is outside. And here it comes. And it's filled up. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Very close off the outside corner. Could have easily been called a strike in that location. So man aboard 
And now the first baseman, number 93. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss. One and two. And the righty deals. And a ball evens the count. The 2-2. Line drive and foul ball. 2-2. Well struck right field. That's back there. And that one is out of here. The Rockets one to right, and they're chipping away. It's 6-3. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. And here comes Jake Lamb, the pride of the University of Washington. And a foul ball. The pitch. And downstairs can be tough to bounce back after a big home run but nobody on nobody out you just have to treat it as a fresh inning next pitch misses way outside kicks and fires swing and a miss and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat and next is the designated hitter drew avens the wind of the pitch Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And two away now. now two out. Space is empty. Shortstop. Here's the shortstop at the play. Jacob Amaya. And it's fouled away. Two outs. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. At the belt and fires. That misses the zone, and it's 2-2. Two and two. two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. They get the force. That's the third out. And welcome back. Top of inning number seven. And now the DH, Hudson Potts. The pitch. Right through there. Got him. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. So digging in, number 27. And the pitch. Swings and misses. And a count one and two. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And a ground ball to first. And he handles it himself for the out. Two out, space is empty. Now the left fielder, Franchi Cordero. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. The pitch. There's a strike. Kicks and deals. And he walked him. Boo, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. The pitch. That's the third. Throws across the diamond. Third out. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Derek Holland. Number 22, Derek Holland. Back 
here at the ballpark, set for the last half of the seventh. And now the right fielder, Zach McKinstry. Next offering misses, and it's two and one. A wind in the pitch. Right through there for a strike. Got him. And there's one down. Here's the catcher, Tony Walters. The next pitch misses, two and one. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Popped up, downs, drifts towards it, and he makes the catch. Two up, two down. So the batting order turns over. Now it's the second baseman, Michael Bush. Here's a one-two. On the ground, right side. He'll do it himself, and that is that. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Shane Green. It's his job to keep his team in the game. We go to the eighth, and now the catcher comes up to him. Ronaldo Hernandez. The one two. And that one in the air center field. Martin makes the play, and there's one down. And the batter now, Jeter Downs. Here's a 1-1. Just missed. Green, he's made a name for himself as a very effective reliever, but not really what you expect from a bullpen arm these days because he's not out there racking up Ks. One down, base is empty. Line drive, base hit. Around first, digging for two. Pulls in with a double, third hit for him today. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Digging in, Jaron Duran. Swings and misses. That's strike two. I think it's the deception and his ability to change arm angles and slots and give hitters different looks within one at bat. They're never able to get comfortable when you only see him once. A lot of times he has success. Comes a 2-2. Fought off foul. Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. Man at second. That's hard hit on the line. McKinstry settles under it and makes the catch. Two away now. Got to be clever, too, when you don't have that lights-out stuff, right? Absolutely. Yeah, you got to know what you're able to do. Instead of focusing on what that hitter's strength is, stay with your strength and trust that you'll come out on top. Runner leads away at second. Swing and a ball lifted left field. And that ends the inning. Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Josh Taylor. Out of the bottom of the eighth, and now the center fielder, Jason Martin. Left hand batter waits. That's ball three. Left-hand hitter waits, and there's ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, the game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Next.
next offering is downstairs. When the leadoff man gets on, you want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Here comes a pitch. In the air, out towards right center. Duran moving to his left. He makes the grab, and there's one away. Jake Lamb getting ready to hit. The batter, the third baseman, Jake Lamb. And a pitch. 3-2 now. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Hernandez has this one sized up. He's got it. And there's two away. Now it's the DH, Drew Avins. The lefty ready and a 1-1. One -one. And there's a ball. Count is two and one. Check swing, but he went too far. And now two and two. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Out number three. Welcome back. Now it's the right fielder, number 49. The 1-1. One -one. Up the middle. Bush gloves it. Fires to first on the run. And a quick out, number one. Next is the designated hitter, Hudson Potts. And he deals. And a foul ball. Fly ball down the line. McKinstry under it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And a couple of quick outs. Two outs, base is empty. Number 27 now at the plate. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Throwing the ball well, and they need this scoreless inning in relief right here. Been doing a good job keeping him in striking distance. Gets it to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. Hansel Robles comes on now. Number 56, Hansel Robles. And welcome back. All set for the bottom of the ninth. Stepping in, Jacob Amaya. Next pitch is downstairs. Righty delivers. That one is upstairs. And a 3-1 on the way. And that's ball four. They're not ready to go home quite yet. So up next, number 19. Amaya gets his lead at first with nobody out. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. When you have a team that hits home runs at such a high rate, they can get back in the ball game so quickly. That's why that leadoff walk was extremely costly. And now the right fielder, Zach McKinstry. And a pitch. Strike two. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Everyone here understands just how quickly things could change in 
in the air out towards left center. Duran puts the squeeze on that one. One away. And here's the catcher, Tony now Walters. Now you got the number nine hole hitter right here. Looking to do whatever he can to get on base, turn this lineup over so the best hitters in this lineup have a chance to tie up the ball game or maybe even walk it off. I got two one Next count. offering way off the plate. Hater deals and now just two outs away they try to get him to go chase the pitch down and away but he wouldn't bite looking to get the tying run on base puts it in the air out towards left center Cordero makes the catch out number two so the lineup flips over here's the second baseman Michael Bush offering his foul back he's mixing his pitches really well late on that fastball after seeing the changeup see if he can elevate one I think if he does he'll get the swing and miss down to their final strike stays alive The tying run at the plate. <laughs> and a foul ball, he stays alive. Next one misses, and it's three and two. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. Cordero, long run. That's the ball game. Well, even though these guys got the win and this guy got the save, you can tell he's a little dejected. Not the performance that he wanted, giving up a couple of runs. But in the end, got to be happy that you got the W. The team can go in the clubhouse and celebrate this victory. 6-5 the final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shambi saying so long. Six runs on 16 hits, no errors. They left 10 men on base.